afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I decided to do another fifth wheel today. I know a lot of people are looking for inexpensive fifth wheels to use as a, well, you can use it as a, as a full-time uh, live-in unit. You can use it as a uh, recreational unit. I've got several of these under 30 grand that would make great for either purpose. Uh, live in or for recreational use and this is one I just got in guys a 2013 Forest River Wildcat 313 RE uh, very very nice triple slide very affordably priced one at only 19.9 I mean wow guys you talk about a ton of a ton of fifth wheel for the money and I'm gonna show it to you best I can we kind of got it jammed up here in the corner I wasn't able to extend the awning all the way out, but I got out just enough to make sure the motor's work. And that's the main thing you want to see on a power awning. I mean, all right, if an awning, the awning cap is so far, I can tell it looks good, but let's just say the worst case, your awning fabric's ripped, no big deal. You can buy those a couple hundred bucks on, on various places online, put them on yourself. Main thing you want to make sure is that the, that the arms come out and that they open and close. Rest of it can be fixed pretty inexpensively but and make sure they're not bent which you can tell that by bringing it in and out and that so far that one looks good but but guys this is a nice one guys it's a forest river wildcat rear lounge triple slide 313 re so not too big not too small this is kind of on the upper small side i would guess uh 32 feet nine inches long a uh, dry weight of 10,068 pounds it's got a 1710 pound hitch weight so Maybe a little out of reach for most half-ton trucks. I mean, they're my, I'm not saying that if you've got one of the most heavy-duty half-ton trucks you can get with the proper tow package and bed size and several other considerations to take into effect. I'm not saying that you can't tow it, but, you know, to comfortably tow this, I would probably want a long bed, three-quarter ton. But, again, guys you need to know what your truck can tow before you fifth wheel shop or camper shop anyway that's just part of your responsibility as a buyer to know that because i've said this in pretty much all my videos you know you ask an rv dealer what you can tow you're going to hear 10 different answers if you ask 10 different dealers what you can tow i put a link in the video description below so you can see the weights you can tow but there's more than just weight involved like i said with a half ton truck uh you got to keep consideration bed size um bed width and other factors so do your homework do some research check with your sell uh, with your vehicle dealer your new vehicle dealer and um get all the information first but anyway and we can assist you with that too just give one of my salespeople a call 706-965-7929 but anyway like i said this is a triple slide for 19.9 it's not going to be perfect the insides are really, really nice, but I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. You got a few little spots of delamination, mostly uh, right here underneath the slide. It's solid. I mean, it's not soft. I think it's just stress from the fiberglass right there because it does handle a lot of stress like right there. And you'll see a lot of fifth wheels um, crack right there from the stress from the slide out. So more than likely they've had to slide out extended for a long period of time. And it doesn't appear to be in a live-in unit, but whoever had this thing probably kept it at home with a slide out, out between uses. And I th doesn't feel soft beside the fiberglass popping loose. So come take a look at it, be your own judge. But inside it shows, I mean, I see no wrinkle spots inside, no, no mildew odors, no signs of water damage anywhere. So you know, you be your own judge on that. I don't think it's going to hurt anything because then again, it is a 10-year-old fifth wheel for 19.9. So, you know, honestly, if this was a budget I was wanting to stay in and this is a style camper I want, it's a lot of camper for that kind of money. I don't think I would let that stop me. But then again, like I say in other videos, everybody's got different standards about what, about what a 2013 model 313 re wildcat should be in with three slides for 19.9 to be nice enough for them to buy for themselves and or their family but uh like i said for the price i think this thing's really nice but i'm just i always show the good and the bad this particular unit is got the upgrade 50 amp service so it does have one ac it does have 15,000 btu ducted roof air which i actually got on right now because we're having a little bit of a fall heat wave 
doing a fantastic job cooling it off. It does. It is pre-wired for a second 13,500 BTU unit in the bedroom. Obviously, the previous owners never had a need for the second air. It's uh, about 85 degrees right now, so it's doing a fantastic job with the one AC keeping it cool. And part of the reason of that is Wildcat has a radiant insulation that reflects about 94% of the sun's rays that uh, will heat up your camper. So the, actually this camper is considered a four seasons. It does have the enclosed heated underbelly for wintertime use. Keep your plumbing from freezing because all your plumbing's in the underbelly. But that radiant layer on top will reflect a lot of the sun's rays and keep it from heating up your camper. So honestly guys, unless you're gonna be camping in the middle of the Mojave Desert in the summertime, um, I would try it with one air at first before I put another one on. Uh, I'm just telling you, trust me on that. Um, you, may, you might be surprised what a wildcat can do with just one ducted roof air. Uh, pretty impressive. And they, these things for a lighter weight camper have some really good insulation. You do have the upgrade 10 gallon gas electric water heater. It is a DSI, so you just push a button, it lights itself on gas. Or you can turn the electric element on as well. You've got a double axle nitrogen filled tires. Uh, you got stabilize, crank, manual crank stabilizers. Like I said, it's not the real fancy one with the HD Max with the full body paint. It doesn't have the automatic leveling jacks, but you know, the main thing is inside's really nice. That's what you're going to be looking at most of the time anyway. It does have the power awning, spare tire on the back, corners aren't beat up. I'm not going to try to squeeze through there, but got pretty good bit of storage. At least, you know, for this size camper. There is your crank handle uh, for your jacks. A big old storage bay. <laughs> and of course, those panels right there are just access to plumbing and electrical. Probably your water pump's going to be in there. Uh, things like that stuff that if you ever have to work on it need easy access to and you can crawl right in there and get to it and work on it or whoever's working on your camper i do like the fact underneath the slide out they got that fiberglass uh, makes it slide in and out easy and you don't have to worry about moisture it gives you a moisture barrier if you ever bring it in wet to keep your uh, slide outs from having water issues I uh, got the fiberglass painted cap on the front, aerodynamic, and it's swept back so you can tow it with a shorter bed truck. Again, guys, power awning does work. A little dirty, but a few little pinholes on the canvas, but nothing to worry about. I mean, I don't think I would change it out over that. It's just the other side of that storage bay. Like I said, for 199, I think this thing's extremely nice. Uh, outside weatherproof speakers, and what this bay right here is, which is locked up, is you've got a trash can uh, in your kitchen area, and you can dump everything, and this is where you open it up to get your trash can out. Let's look inside. That's 313RE. And uh, 10,068 pounds. Oh, I got it tight right here. Uh, all right, let's look inside. This is a nice fifth wheel, guys. I do love the crowned roof. You know, that's a sign of a well-built fifth wheel when you have a crowned roof. Uh, it does have the actual Corian, DuPont Corian solid surface countertops, the real deal, not the, not the generic ones, which are fine, but hey, why not go with the name brand when you have it? Solid, sir, uh, solid wood counter or cabinets, big oven, three burner stove top, big roomy rear lounge, table and chairs. So if you're a big guy, big like me, or if you're a big girl, you're not stuck in one position. Now this is not factory, at least I don't think it is. Still got the tag on it, but uh, this unit would have came with uh, Two Lazy Boy recliners. That is Lazy Boy though, I looked at the tag earlier, so. 
Uh, but that is a, a theater seating, recliners. 40 inch Toshiba TV, it does have a 4600 BTU electric fireplace which doubles as a heater or you can just set it for the ambiance uh, which is nice, gives you kind of a, a residential home like feel to it. I mean I know it's not much but we know with that with that stack stone and that little mantel right there, I mean that just kind of gives you a nice little home feel to it. Uh, there's your return for your AC, notice the crown molding. Speakers, it does have a nice stereo that sounds great. I was listening to it uh, when I was taking pictures like I usually do. And it does have a built-in DVD player. You've got a sleeper sofa over here and the, and the furniture looks great. No flaking furniture. Got some overhead storage, LED lights. Here's that trash can I was telling you about. Pop that up, there's your trash can when it's full. Take it out the outside compartment. You don't have to worry about dripping something dripping on your floor. Uh, this is pretty cool. Got a little hidden compartment right here. And uh, just got some three drawers right here for whatever you want to put in it. I know one of these days I'm going to find a stack of $100 bills in one of these. <laughs> I mean... I mean, we found some interesting things over the years, but stuff I'm not going to mention, but probably the only valuable thing we found was uh, we found a little small, uh, uh, just a little small rinky-dink gold chain. It probably wasn't worth $200, but a gold-plated chain, but that's probably the most valuable thing we've ever found in one. Better than that, we found some stuff that, uh, some adult stuff that I won't even mention that went right into the trash, but still. Uh, <laughs> We found some interesting stuff, let's just say that. And refrigerator, this is an eight cubic foot. This thing looks brand new. Is this original? Sometimes there's a date on these. No, that's that's a 2012 refrigerator. Wow. Uh, these folks obviously never put anything in their refrigerator. Either that or they were very extremely clean people because that, for a 2012 refrigerator, we can't clean one that good. Look at the sticker. Yeah, I don't think this has been a live-in model, not with a not with a refrigerator and a freezer that clean. You you can't clean one to look like that, guys. That looks that good from lack of use. Pantry with some shelving. I mean, it's just a 32 eight foot eight, or 30 32 feet eight inches long, but they didn't waste any space. Here's your thermostat for your heat and air. And um, walk up here. And bathroom area. Not bad. I mean, considering the size fifth wheel you're in. Got the RV toilet. Everything looks clean. Medicine cabinet. Nothing is bleached yellow from the sun. I ah, stink bug. <laughs> Guys, for those of you that live in this area of the country, y'all know, of course, uh, they're, they're more than just this area of the country, but this time of year, them things get into everything. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ooh, cutty storage. good place to put some towels and extra sheets and stuff yeah just i do like the french door going into the front bedroom i gotta put a bed spread on it but you do have a queen bed in here and actually that one ac is moving a lot of air in here because i had that door shut you do have two uh two vents in here and you do have a fantastic vent fan if you boondock which now if you do decide to add an extra air conditioner that's where your air conditioner would go you're going to lose that and your wiring is behind that panel. Of course, you have to put your thermostat in here, but um, we'll run a wire for that, which is no big deal. Uh, Queen Island bed, place for TV up here. It, you know, that this is your backer location, so you can screw it directly to the wall. 
if you wanted to don't go too long of a screw because you don't want it to go outside of your camper but it's obviously never had one in here because there's no there's no holes in the wall but or you can just prop one up right there a small one you just have to take it down when you uh move your camper i like the fact that it's just got this little corner cabinet right here instead of a dresser so you've got more space right here to get ready in and change clothes i will get somebody in here to restring that blind uh that day night shade so far that's i think that's about the only one i've seen so far that's not working so again guys this is a 1919 year old fifth wheel so i'm not I, i'm not saying it's brand new but i think it's very very nice for the money i mean this thing's completely usable right now just like it is and um of course you've got a closet over here no washer and dryer hookups at least i don't think i haven't looked in that closet yet hey look here guys see what we find when we look there's just a small tv to set up there i'm gonna leave this in the closet for whoever buys this you just set that tv up there so boom you never know what you find you open up a drawer <laughs> closet in the front no wash and dryer hookups which i didn't think there was in one this small which is another side that hasn't been a live-in model not a big fan of those anyway wow i mean and guys i'm just saying wow based on the fact of the price for the year model and the amenities and the con overall condition i know it's not perfect um one to ten on my quality scale as far as the price you know and i and when i do a one to ten guys i take in consideration everything because you, you got to realize i look at a lot of rvs in person a lot more than probably any of y'all do a lot more so i use that 25 plus years of experience when i do a one through ten one through ten i'd give this one eight yeah a solid eight maybe a little higher but you know and i'm and i'm taking everything in consideration the the you know the price and the condition the inside of this thing's beautiful guys uh we've got one blind we got to fix got that little spot of d lamb on the outside but big deal it's it, it's 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 something you can buy for under 20 grand. It's 10,000 pounds with three slides. It's a winner for anybody looking for something like this. Now, certainly if you're wanting to spend 40 or 50 grand, this may be, you may want something nicer or bigger or newer. I get that. That's what I love about RVing. I mean, whether you want to spend 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand or more, there's lots of options for you. You know, maybe not so much in this price range, unless you, you know, want something that's either worn out or needs a lot of work or both. This is kind of the exception to that rule, but. And there's no smoke or pet odors too. I don't know if I told you that or not. That's original TV too, and it still's got, still looks good. So obviously they haven't been living in it. They would have changed the TV up. And there's room there for a bigger one if you want to put maybe a, a 48 or maybe even a 50 you know which whatever will fit there Nineteen nine, and guys here's how it works and so listen carefully if you're if you want to know what works what doesn't um, as you know like you buy for sale by owners pretty you know, it, it's as is we however uh while technically it's as is from us because it is a 13 model that you know any used camper you buy is going to be as is but um we still after purchase are going to do what we call a major systems inspection for the 199 so listen carefully for that 199 price and we do this to keep our prices down obviously nobody's going to guarantee every little thing to work on a camper or a motor home or anything else you buy used Hey guys, they don't even guarantee everything to work on new campers now. <laughs> I mean, but so keep in mind, guys, what we do is we check the following systems and only the following systems for the 199. We check all three slide outs. We make sure that they're in good shape. We make sure they go in and out like they're supposed to. They seal up good, and um, you know that they that when you push a button, they're going to go out, unless of course your battery's dead or something like that. But 
but you know we're going to make sure all that's good so we're going to check that for the 19.9 price and this is all done after purchase even though technically i've already done a lot of this stuff but i'm not officially an rv technician certified rv tech my certified rv techs will check this officially after purchase and i've done a lot of this like i said the refrigerator freezer that runs off propane or electric is already getting cold but they will a fish I, I guess the fact that they're trained rv techs they, they they've got a special thing they do when they push the on button on the refrigerator that makes it official versus me or you turning it on but <laughs> but hey whatever works they do more than that guys they make sure you know it gets exact specifications <laughs> and make sure everything's clear on the back debris and then make sure your vents clear and all that stuff so it's more than just turn it on make sure it gets cold <laughs> i give them, i give them a rough time about that that's why i say that i know they watch my videos so. <laughs> but um <laughs> important thing is it works and you know and if we find a problem with any of the stuff i'm mentioning we're going to fix it before you take possession of it at no additional cost to you, no matter what it costs to fix it. Even if we have to go so far to put a new air conditioner, a new fridge or whatever it takes, which I mean, the AC's ice cold. There's no problem there. Um, we check the refrigerator, we check the roof air, we check slide outs. We're gonna check your plumbing systems and we're gonna check it on CD and, and, and water pump. Of course, we're gonna make sure your water pump works. Uh, make sure you've got no plumbing leaks we're going to check your water heater, make sure it gets hot, make sure hot water goes to all your faucets and spigots, all that good stuff, outside shower, which it does have one. Um, make sure all that's good. And if we find any plumbing leaks, we're going to fix those. And um, we check your steps, check your front landing legs. And that's what we guarantee to work, guys, for 19.9. That's quite a bit of stuff. We call it the major systems inspections because that's the stuff that can ruin your camping trip if it doesn't work. Now, anything else, guys, beyond those systems is sold as is. In other words, in layman's terms, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then we're selling it with those, system, with those other systems not working. It's going to be up to you to fix it or not fix it. You know, anything else, if it, if it doesn't work, then it's not going to ruin your trip, you know. Like say, uh, say that light doesn't work. It does, but let's just say for sake of argument, it doesn't. That's gonna be up to you to fix that light or not fix that light. That light not working is not gonna stop you from going camping. It's not gonna ruin your trip. If it went out uh, while you, were, while you uh, were camping, that's something, it's two wires, a couple of screws, 10 minute job and about 15, $20 part on Amazon to replace that light if it went bad. Or you can go to an RV store, a uh, parts store and spend 30 or 40 dollars for something you can buy online for almost half price but it depends on how much of a hurry you're in um <laughs> there's your little tip by the way that's why we don't that's why we quit selling parts because you can buy them online for cheaper than we can buy them from our uh, distributor so that's why we don't sell parts anymore we just order what we need and a lot of times we go to the same places you do to buy parts amazon ebay walmart wherever but that's what I'm getting at, guys. Or if you see a drawer that's off track or needs a track replaced, you can buy that stuff online. Or a lot of times you can go in there and just re screw it onto the side of the cabinet and it'll work just fine. So, Mickey Mouse stuff like that, we leave to the future owners. We just take care of the major stuff, keeps the prices down, allows us to operate with lesser labor. So, that keeps your overhead down, which again allows us to keep the price down. I mean, you got to realize anywhere else in the country, guys, this would be a five to ten thousand dollar higher fifth wheel, and then plus fees and upsells that they charge that can add thousands more to the price, on top of the higher price that we don't charge, because again, guys, we keep things easy, simple, done. We keep our overhead down, so we keep our prices down. You know, we don't have a, a gourmet coffee shop in the showroom. We have an old bun coffee maker with Folgers coffee in it. And luckily, if you're lucky, it's less than four or five hours old if you're lucky when you get here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, that's just the way we operate, guys. We keep our prices down uh, so we can pass that savings along to the customer. If a customer wants gourmet coffee, Starbucks is three miles down the road. Help yourself. But, and I'm just, 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 just quoting many, many examples that I can quote 
you know, we try to keep things easy, simple, and done. You know, we, we got a comfortable place, but we're not luxurious by no means. If you want a luxurious RV dealership, then you're going to pay for what you get. You know, this camper at another dealership, by the time you pay the higher price, by the time you pay all the fees that they charge, like dock fees, prep fees, and processing fees, and all these other fees, and plus the upsells, guys, you're talking, um, you're going to be talking instead of 19.9 plus applicable sales tax, which is your out the door price here, you're, you'll be 30 plus thousand dollars, maybe 35,000 time you leave with it what well, by the time you leave with your fifth wheel you talk I'm talking up sales like extended warranties gap insurance tire wheel packages vacation package roadside assistance all this stuff is marked up four or five times dealer cost most of it not even worth the paper it's written on I always say no to any up sales by the way you can buy any of that stuff for a fraction of the cost away from the dealership none of exclusive is none of that stuff's dealership exclusive items and uh, they just do that because they can it's just an extra source of money they pick up an extra four or five grand profit selling that stuff to you or more and then they just add it to your loan which has got a marked up interest rate and for you know, that, that that's how they get you guys and believe me it happens here easy simple done this unit with the major systems inspection nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars doesn't matter how you pay for it we don't charge extra if you bring your own money we don't charge extra like other dealers do. If you go to your bank and get a loan, you're welcome to use one of our lenders. We have financing available with approved credit and, and uh, down payment. We're happy to work with your bank. If you want to bring cash, you can, even though uh, for, for your own safety, we ask that you don't bring $100 bills, but we will accept it if you do happen to bring it. It's just risky, it's a safety factor um, on many different ways that um you know I, I never travel with currency uh more than just a few hundred dollars for just whatever for just for traveling expenses i don't recommend anybody else do either um uh, i mean there's no reason in 2022 to have to pay dead precedence for any major purchase anymore in fact if somebody insists on it i'm gonna think they're up to something so i always tell you know we we will accept cashier's checks that we can verify you can set up a wire transfer we'll be happy to send you our wire transfer instructions just set it up, and this is what a lot of customers do, is they'll set it up, and when they come look and inspect the unit, it meets, their, meets all their expectations, they'll call their bank or say, hey, everything's good, send the wire. As soon as it clears our bank, we release fifth wheel, or it goes into service and goes through all that. So, Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I, I can't believe I forgot that. When I was going back to about you fixing the Mickey Mouse stuff, guys, I always recommend that you come look at, and this is common sense. I hate to backtrack, but I always recommend you do one of two things, and this should be common sense on any used or new RV you buy. You need to go look at it first. That's the main thing, guys. Pictures and videos help, but until you actually look at one in person, and I mean really look at it, step inside of it, sit on the couch, lay on the bed, walk through it is this going to be comfortable is this going to be big enough for you is it too big too small stand at the kitchen countertop look in the fridge is this going to fit all the food you want to carry until you can actually lay eyeballs on it and kind of give it a mental i guess a mental test trip in your head how do you or sit at the table how do you know if it's going to be right for you and your family and then while you're at it you need to go through it see what works what does it we'll plug it into shore power for you let you do your own thing and or hire a third party inspection guys we recommend and encourage anybody buying whether from us or anybody else new or used dealer or for sale by owner buy hire a third party rv inspector now we're probably the only dealer crazy enough to recommend a inspector because guys dealers have lost so many deals to them a lot of dealers now won't allow them on their lot inspectors for sale by owners don't like them because well not all of them but a lot of them don't there are a lot of good for sale by owners i'm not saying for sale by owners are bad by no means I, I, i've had really good luck with for sale by owners i bought many from sale by owners i've had 
some bad experience with the for sale by owners and I've been trying and I've been I, I've been ripped off by for sale by owners um, we were still involved in a lawsuit years later we gave a guy money in good faith for a camper from a for sale by owner and it was a big destination trailer and uh, we went down to pick it up he was still living in it said he can't sell it to us because he uh, had a loan on it you can't do a title check on a travel trailer because Carfax and Auto Check and all those services do not recognize a towable RV VIN number. And uh, we spent, I don't remember, 25, 30 grand. It was a late model park model. You know, to this day, he's done, he already spent the money. To this day, two years later, we're still going back and forth in court. And, you know, we're probably the best we're going to get is going to be a judgment. So we might get a couple of hundred dollars a month for the next 30 years <laughs> before we get all that money back <laughs> and still not going to get the camper but guys that's just a chance you take you know it you know that's why i always tell people for sale by owners do your homework if something sounds fishy don't do it trust your instincts um even as many as we buy we can still get we can still get had sometimes I've had every kind of scam in the world try to pull. I used to have a whole thick envelope in my desk full of fake cashier's checks that people have sent me trying to buy stuff uh, when I was selling on, a, you know, online that I knew they were fake uh, from the first email, but I went ahead and played along just to make them go through the trouble sending me one. <laughs> I mean, I probably had 20 or 30 checks in there. But, uh, you know, you got to be really careful this day and age, guys, buying and selling. You know, good thing about a dealer, especially like us, we're licensed, bought, and insured. So, I mean, we're official. I mean, we're not fly-by-night, obviously. We've been in business since 1968. But, you know, for sale by owners, yeah, they have a good experience, but always be on your toes. And, um, and if a sale by owner tells you they don't want an RV inspector on their property to look at their camper or whatever, wherever it's at, the best thing you need to do is just walk, don't walk away, run away. And also, guys, just a quick tip because I gave somebody this trick on uh, this tip on Facebook the other day. If a for sale by owner is selling something without a title, and and uh, or selling something with a title that doesn't have their name printed on the front by the state, again, don't walk away, run away. Because only a dealer can sell a vehicle that doesn't have their name on the front of the title printed by the state. Because they're not the legal, in other words, an open title. Never buy anything from a for sale by owner with an open title. And dealers can't even legally have an open title. We, gotta, we have to fill it out with our name on the back as a seller as soon as we receive it in office. Or we can get fined big money. So um, if in, well, we get inspected once a year by the state randomly. So... And they pull our titles and check them for that. That's one of the things they look for. Make sure everything is properly assigned to us as a seller from the people we bought it from. So that's the first thing we do when we buy any camper or any RV is to put our name on the back as the current seller. And only a dealer can do that. Individual can't do that. They have to go title it, pay sales tax, put their get their name put on the front before they can legally sell it or do or trade it or do anything. That's right, guys. If, if your name's not printed on the front of the title, I legally cannot take your vehicle in on trade. Or any dealer can't. If your name is legally not printed on the front of the title, that means you got that means there's sales tax owed on it. You've got a title and your name pay tax and uh, before you can even trade it and get the title back from the state proving that you did that. <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. But um, well, I've been ranting on pretty good about this one, haven't I? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, roof shot I did at the front. I might try that on these fifth wheels, just open it up with the roof shot. And um, instead of the fly around, because obviously I couldn't do it with this. But anyway, 19.9 while it lasts. We have, we have nationwide delivery available if you need it. Um, on longer distance runs, over five or 600 miles, guys, uh, we will have to sub it out to a uh, company or put it on you ship. So be patient with us. It may take us a day or two to get you an exact quote. 
but um you know we have a company that we go through that will do that but it's subject to their whatever they want to charge and when they can do it now we will do it with one of our trucks if it's within five or six hundred miles and it's two dollars a mile one way but like i said anything further than that we sub it out we just don't have the our trucks are getting a little age on them we don't really want to put that kind of stress on them on these long trips uh we keep them on the road hot enough now as they are now so but anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you got questions about anything at all give us a call 706-965-7929 we do take trade-ins and uh stay tuned for some more fifth wheels i've got three or four more and a couple of them under 30 grand that i think those of you who are in that price range are really going to like but thanks again and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia and don't forget call before coming to look 706-965-7929 thanks again for watching oh by the way smash me a thumbs up hit the uh, comment let me know what you think about the fifth wheel hit that subscribe button uh thanks again